We turn for the second time to Luke 22. Yesterday in this chapter, we heard of Judas betraying Jesus to the Jewish leaders, of the Last Supper, and of Jesus' last words to the disciples, including the prophecy that Peter would deny him three times. Luke 22, starting at verse 39. Jesus left the city and went as he usually did to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples went with him. When he arrived at the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. Then he went off from them about the distance of a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed. He said, Father, if you will, take this cup of suffering away from me. Not my will, however, but your will be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. In great anguish he prayed even more fervently. His sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Rising from his prayer, he went back to the disciples and found them asleep, worn out by their grief. He said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you will not fall into temptation. Jesus was still speaking when a crowd arrived, led by Judas, one of the twelve disciples. He came up to Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus said, Judas, is it with a kiss that you betray me, the Son of Man? When the disciples who were with Jesus saw what was going to happen, they asked, Shall we use our swords, Lord? And one of them struck the high priest's slave and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, Enough of this! He touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and the elders who had come there to get him, Did you have to come with swords and clubs as though I were an outlaw? I was with you in the temple every day, and you did not try to arrest me. But this is your hour to act, when the power of darkness rules. They arrested Jesus and took him away into the house of the high priest, and Peter followed at a distance. A fire had been lit in the center of the courtyard, and Peter joined those who were sitting around it. When one of the servant women saw him sitting there at the fire, she looked straight at him and said, This man too was with Jesus. But Peter denied it. Woman, I don't even know him. After a little while, a man noticed Peter and said, You are one of them too. But Peter answered, Man, I am not. And about an hour later, another man insisted strongly, There isn't any doubt that this man was with Jesus, because he's also a Galilean. But Peter answered, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. At once, while he was still speaking, a rooster crowed. The Lord turned around and looked straight at Peter. And Peter remembered that the Lord had said to him, Before the rooster crows tonight, you will say three times that you do not know me. Peter went out and wept bitterly. The men who were guarding Jesus made fun of him and beat him. They blindfolded him and kept on asking him, If you're such a great prophet, tell us who hit you and they said many other insulting things to him. When day came, the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law met together, and Jesus was brought before the council. They said, Tell us, are you the Messiah? He answered, If I tell you, you will not believe me, and if I ask you a question, you will not answer. 
But from now on I will be seated as the Son of Man at the right side of Almighty God. And they said, Are you then the Son of God? He answered them, You are right in saying that I am. And they said, We don't need any witnesses. We ourselves have heard what he said. Let's pray together. Our holy, heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you without an excuse because we have committed deliberate sins against you. We have treated you with contempt. We in the past rejected you. And before an awesome and holy God, we should have been held as responsible for our own deaths. But you sent Jesus to pay that debt for us. O oh Lord, we could not have given the sacrifices that are mentioned, and they were only symbols of what Jesus was going to do. Therefore, Lord, help us. And now, O oh Lord Jesus, that you are seated at the right hand of God, as the Son of Man. We worship you and we thank you. We praise you for dying for us. We praise you for bearing the shame that should be ours. We praise you for bearing the death that should be ours. We praise you for taking the wrath of God that should be ours. And now, let us not be like Peter. Peter had seen you work miracles. He's the one who cut off the right ear of that servant. He saw you heal that servant. And yet, he denied ever knowing you. Let us not bend to any pressure. But give us strength, Lord, to stand firm that we might be your witnesses today never denying you. You are the Lord who has defeated all our enemies. Today, give us strength to be your disciples and servants.